Hey, what is going on everybody? Instant SVK here bringing you another video and today we'll be looking at my Black Ops 2 gameplay which I got today. Uh, this is a kill confirmed on Nuketown 2025. Uh, it is a fantastic remake from the previous uh, Black Ops game. And I really, really, thoroughly enjoy playing this map. Uh, I got it as a pre-order bonus or something, so if you guys have pre-ordered a game, you pretty much should have it somewhere. Just go into playlist, check the Nuketown on the left. Uh, it's a separate playlist for that. It's a 24-7 Nuketown playlist, so yeah. Uh, okay, so here we're gonna talk not so much about the gameplay. It's pretty basic. I'm using MP7, Red Dot Sight, and Laser Sight. Um, the laser side pretty much supplies or uh, or is uh, like same thing pretty much same thing as steady aim but you have it on gun of course and red dot sight obviously a red dot sight um, anyway I'm using a secondary pistol and my perks are pretty basic uh, you pretty much will see them when I die I don't really remember my perks but I will list them in the video description if you want to anyways we will talk about uh, how Black Ops 2 is performing so far. As you can see, I am a PC player, so I'm thoroughly speaking only like for my specific opinion. And I think the PC version is fucking fantastic. What, what I mean by that is I actually thoroughly enjoy the game. It's great. It feels and plays amazing. It's not like Black Ops 1, which, which was like a shuddery, laggy piece of honk on the computer which in many ways was one of the worst console ports ever but this black ops 2 game i gotta tell you this is great uh it has some implemented features like for steam users so when you're looking at someone's gamer tag you can pretty much easily mute him and easily check his steam profile and easily report him the game is great you can okay anyway so Lobby system is pretty much Modern Warfare 2. Uh, you don't have any dedicated servers, they pretty much run all on lobbies, which can be a good thing if you prefer a straight up game and without not having to search for 15 minutes or whatever. Uh, but so far, I am impressed with the game so far. Um, I like it, I like how it looks, I like how it plays, as I said. Um, the only real thing that bothers me that people are really, really good at this game. Some people are like super kick ass especially on playlists like search and destroy and whatnot people are great in those i also played a couple of free-for-alls mostly finished second and first and uh, i gotta say uh people are really really uh good people are a really good competition in this game uh, yes i said my teammate back <laughs> That was, that was kind of a nice save. Anyways, um, I just uh, wanted to make this little commentary because I have a great, great mood. I had a great mood playing this game because I really think it's fantastic. You guys should really check it out. Um, if you had any skeptical issues with this game, well, do, don't you worry. I had, I had my fair share of skepticalness and this game is just like... It's, it's a nice little surprise for me because I, I, ex I expected Black Ops 1. Uh, gameplay features which would mean like it would be super laggy and, and crap and the, the servers would suck all kinds of like only nuketown 24 7 map servers whatever this is a nice little surprise i gotta tell you the kill streak i'm using here is a dragon fire uh, do not actually like do not mess it up with the medal of honor uh dragon fire which is very different uh, this is a pretty much the iPhone remote control traffic camera mounted with a gun uh, or specifically with an assault rifle or SMG or whatever. So just fly this thing, WSAD mouse, mice, mouse, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, this map, as I said, pretty well, uh, pretty well done. Although some of the maps remind me of uh, smaller Battlefield 3 maps. Take Cargo, for example. That map is huge, especially for like Call of Duty map. Ma especially looking at Call of Duty. And look at that nice uh, triple spray there, boy. Go on. <laughs> I'm just in so super productive mood, so I can pretty much like screw up everything. Well, usually that means. And uh, what um. Okay, so that map is huge uh, by Call of Duty standards. Uh, what I say, Call of Duty maps are usually like uh, 
SMG type of maps. When SMGs really do really good, and assault rifles are pretty pretty good as well. But sometimes maps like Cargo and Free for All they are big. I mean, there are several buildings there, sure, but people tend to camp there a lot or not like pop their head out because it's pretty much a big map and it's not easy to do stuff. I uh, didn't have any other problems with any other map in this game. I really think that the maps so far without any DLCs are good. I played several hours of the campaign, actually like two hours or something, on the almost hardest difficulty, so hardened I think that is. And that was a good experience, the, the campaign is amazing. So far I'm not gonna show anything because I think uh, Treyarch has an, as an NDA, has an NDA on the game, so non-disclosure agreement, don't post any cutscenes or whatever, spoilers. So I'm not gonna spoil anything for you, I just wanted you guys to let, let me, Jesus Christ, I just wanted to let you guys know that this game is good, it's, uh, it's not a failure, especially on the PC, well people I think underestimated it. And um, of course, hopefully you guys have a nice day, my final score 34 and 5. And I had a blast playing this game, and I'll have a blast posting more gameplays in the future. Have a nice day, bye.